this is a Z790 motherboard. Is it worth it or are manufacturers just trying to get you to show me the money? Stick around and find out. You could be spending hundreds of dollars too much and not even know it. With the introduction of Intel's 13th gen processors, we were also graced with the arrival of the Z790 chipset and its accompanying motherboards. And with names like Maximus and Elite, surely these things are gonna throw wide the gates and usher in a new era of performance, right? Right? Well, not so fast. See, there's a few things we need to consider. First off, this is probably the last generation Intel chip on this socket set, so your upgrades are gonna be capped at the 13th gen processors. I know, I know, I can hear you say it, but the 13th gen chips absolutely rip. What's so wrong with that? And for the most part, you're right, but here's the thing, the Z790 boards are packed with all kinds of amazing next-gen features, most of which you can't even take advantage of yet. PCIe 5.0 sounds great, but even the 4090 only uses four. Gen 5 M.2 storage, sure, it's gonna be blazing fast when it comes, and it's coming soon-ish, but are you really going to pay whatever insane amount of money they ask for when, in all honesty, you probably won't be able to tell the difference between a Gem 4 in real world usage? I hear you though, you don't care. Paying through the teeth for a Z790 board is just the cost of admission for being an early adopter, right? Well, again, not so fast. And that brings us to today's topic. See. Most manufacturers would love if you just forgot that their Z690 boards already have all these features and more. In fact, they're so sure you forgot, they didn't even bother changing the name on most of them. So let's do this. I picked one of those same name models. Uh, sorry, MSI, today you're the goose. Um, and we're gonna take a look and compare the features across the two boards and see is it really worth it or are you just wasting your money? Now, MSI was just the one I got my hands on the easiest. I, I could have picked any manufacturer and it'd probably be about the same. So let's take a look at these two boards. Visually, they are very similar. I mean, honestly, they are virtually indistinguishable from each other. Now, to be fair. Uh, to be fair. To be fair. I get it. It is a sexy board. So I get why MSI wouldn't want to change it up too much in the aesthetics department, but even their product pages are virtually indistinguishable. Let's jump in and talk about the differences. While they both support DDR5, the Z790 does support speeds up to 7600, while the 690 only rocks a paltry 6666. Not really a life-altering improvement there. Um, same thing for the power phases. The Z790 does have uh, 19 1 and 1 power phases, whereas the 690 is only 18 1 and 1. And I'm not really great at math, but that is a whole one more. Uh, does that really matter? Well, I don't know. Why don't you check out this video right here and I'll go into a little more detail on, no, it really doesn't. This year, MSI also gives us one additional 20 gig type C port and also an extra Gen 5 M.2. Not to be outdone though, the 690 actually has an extra PCIe 5.0 slot. So <laughs> check one off for the older brother. And that's, that's basically it. Oh yeah, except I forgot the most important difference. This board costs over a hundred dollars more than the 690. Now for the similarities. 
virtually everything else on these boards is indistinguishable. Uh, it, seriously, guys, it's too much to list. It's easier to just throw up MSI's own data sheets again. We're talking same design, displays, heat sinks, overclocking features, audio, the same type of LAN. The feature set is almost identical between these two boards in every major way that actually matters. And again, just to remind you guys, this is the last generation you're gonna be able to use one of these boards. Intel is changing it up next year. So let me ask you, knowing all of that, would you pay 25% more for this board? No, seriously guys, let me know down in the comments, do you think it's worth it to pay the early adopter tax to get a Z790 board when a 690 does literally everything you need and then some? That $100 difference can be put back into your system in so many meaningful ways. Better RAM, better storage, better cooling, nicer set of peripherals like a new mouse or this keyboard here from Mountain. So if you're asking me, just don't waste your money. Hey guys, if you enjoyed that video, don't forget to check out one of these. Make sure you like, subscribe, check out some of our other content. And as always, thanks for watching.